assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah my dear viewers hope everybody is fine today the topic which we are going to discuss is the networking devices in this topic we will discuss the different types of networking devices and their role we have around six different types of networking devices that are hub gateway router repeater bridge and switch the role of these networking devices is to transfer the data from one computer to another computer first we will discuss what actually the networking devices are as seen here in the definition networking devices are the components used to connect computers or other electronic devices together so that they can share files or resources like printers or fax machines networking devices are also more than rather computers and wiring they are special devices that handle electric oblique digital connections and perform their unique role efficiently in simple way we can say that networking devices are the building blocks of the network besides is computers besides is transmission medium that is wireless or wired medium we need these devices so that we can say a network complete network is formed every device in a computer network that is every com networking device has its own role and without these devices it is impossible to transfer the data from one network to another network so these are the basic building blocks of our network first here we will discuss the network device that is network hub what is network hub as here shown in the diagram a network hub is a device which is used to connect multiple network hosts a network hub is also used for data transfer the data is transferred in terms of packets so that like a particular computer sends a data packet to a network hub the hub copies that very data and sends to rest of the devices in the network as shown in the figure a laptop for example is sending the data to a hub this hub copies the data and transfers that data to rest of the devices that is the same data is transferred to the desktop computer and the data is saved in a database server and it is sent to the printer for example for printing so a hub actually connects these devices besides connecting these devices it helps in the transmission of the data from one device to the other device other network device is the network switch the definition here and the diagram what actually the network switch is like hub switch has the rule like hub it connects the devices but it is we can say switch is more intelligent than a hub how hub just copies the data and transfers the data to rest of the computers but what switch actually does it helps in filtering of the data and forwarding that is which is more intelligent way of dealing the data for this purpose a switch it can be we can say a switch is more intelligent device it has a table called content addressable memory table in this memory it maintains the we can say the it maintains the transfer and the filtering of the data that is which data is transport to which device and for example if a data is transported whether that has been reached to that device or not that is maintained by content addressable memory table or in other words we can say a switch does the role of hub it connects as seen in the figure the rest of computers with each other beside is this it helps in the filtering and the forwarding of the data in more intelligent way than the hub the third device that is the network router one of the important device in the computer network a router is a network device which is responsible for routing that is it helps us in finding the best path from one network to the another network these two network could be the private company network to a public network as here we can see in the diagram a network router can be considered as a traffic police who directs different network traffic to different 
directions or we can say sinus for example computer one has to send the data to the internet for example a router define the best possible way since in a computer network there are thousands of links there are thousands of computers connected with each other for example a computer a wants to send the data to computer b which is in other network there can be the thousands of links thousands of ways from one computer to another computer from computer a to computer b the network router actually it helps us to it helps us in finding the best path which is the best path for transferring the data from computer a to computer b that concept is called the routing so simple definition of router is that it helps us in routing that is to find the best path between two computers in a network as we can see here in the diagram the computer computers are connected here the broadband mo modem is there it is connected to the internet and it is the router which help us in the routing of data from one computer to another computer or from one computer to the internet and the router is more advanced device than hub than switch now we can move to the next device that is bridge what actually the bridge is if you are for example if a router connects two different types of networks then a bridge connects two sub networks as a part of the same network so we can say a bridge works within a network within a sub network in a particular big network for example you can see here in the diagram we have a network in a uh, particular company for example host d host c there is hub there is hub a bridge is working between these two sub networks for example we have two different labs working on first floor second one is working on third floor so these two floors having two different networks are connected with each other with the help of bridge so bridge can be defined as the connecting device between two sub networks in a particular network as shown in the diagram now we have a device that is called the repeater what actually the repeater does as we can say i will just enlarge it a repeater is an electronic device that amplifies the signal it receives in other terms we can think repeater as a device which receives a signal and retransmit it at higher level or higher power so that the signal can cover large distance as the second point here is for example in a college campus for example we have to connect a hostel for example hostel with the main campus and hostel campus is far away from a main campus we need to connect these two networks one in a hostel and one in a main campus since campus is uh, since this hostel is very far away from the main campus we put a device in between so that a signal which is uh, which is uh, a signal is coming from the main campus it is we put a repeater this repeater regenerates amplifies the signal and this signal is finally passed to the hostel or we can say here in the diagram for example if a college authority wants to pull a wire between hostel and a main campus they will have to use a repeater if the distance is much because different types of cables have limitations in terms of distance they carry the data for as shown in the diagram suppose we have network a network b if a network a wants to send a signal to the network b due to large distance the signal with the passage of this uh, distance it has the limitation is that signal gets weak by some time so we put a repeater it the repeater regenerates this very signal and amplifies the signal and sends it to the network b or in simple words we can say a repeater is a device which regenerates a signal so that a signal reaches to other network suppose we have a network for example in a particular school and we want to connect this very network with another school that is like four or five kilometers apart if we put just direct a cable between these two networks a signal will get lost in the midway 
so what we do we put the repeater in the middle of the uh, network networks when the signal is passed a repeater once it reaches to the repeater a repeater regenerates it rather it amplifies the signal and passes it to the another network so that the data communication will be successful now moving to the device that is the modem one of the important device in our uh, computer network what actually modem is it is one of the interesting device in our daily life a modem actually stands it is a combination of modulator and demodulator what is mod modulation modulation means conversion of digital signal sig signal to analog signal and demodulation means analog signal to digital signal as here we can see the diagram we have computer for example it passes the signal to the modem it is a digital signal signal it once it reaches to the telephone line it gets converted into analog signal that is here the modem converts digital signal into analog signal and wire it has to be converted back into the digital signal the modem performs here as the concept called demodulation that is analog signal is converted into digital signal so on left side digital signal into analog signal is called modulation on right side analog signal is getting converted into digital signal that is demodulation so modem is the combination of modulator and demodulator that help us in conversion of digital to analog and analog to digital signal in it in the computer network so in this way we have discussed the modem almost every device we have discussed we have discussed router we have discussed switch we have discussed bridge we have discussed repeater and we have discussed modem with this the topic of the networking device has been completed the next topic will be discussed in the next session uh, i hope the lecture we discussed in this very session is very useful and you have understood the basic concepts of the networking devices i have a request to share like and subscribe this very video on the youtube channel and share to everybody who is like interested in this very topic so that everyone whether student or somebody else will get benefit from this with this i am thankful to everybody